Well, the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show is a very exciting time for many families in the Coastal Bend. And one of the big traditions in the show is the Queen's Contest, something one area family has made a 30 year tradition now. Our Simone Simpson got to speak with them. She joins us here live tonight with more. Hey, Simone. Hey, Mike. Hey, Leslie. I met with two generations of livestock participants that so far has resulted in one crown between the mom and two sisters. I caught up with them during queen rehearsal at Teloso Midway High School and with so much experience from the livestock show, they show us what all they've learned and gained over the years. It's not always about the winning. These two generations of the Wright family have competed at the livestock show. You're in front of so many people, you want to be what they want you to be, and you just need to be you. But all three of them gain something different from their experiences. The kids are, are the best part about the show, and it's the youth and the future of our county, and so serving them was the best part. This family tradition didn't begin with Julie Wright. I'm pretty much a livestock show mom. It began with her father in the 1950s. He showed in one of the first livestock shows in Nueces County back in the 1950s. The love this family has for the hustle and bustle of the competition is evident. I wouldn't be where I am without these two beside me and, and my dad and all the other family members that helped me along the way. Mackenzie Volleman was named queen of the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show in 2013. So that is the most important part of this livestock show is your family. This year, the tradition falls on Hannah Wright's shoulders. A little nervous, but I feel very confident knowing that I've had two big role models in my life that have done the best that they could to be my coaches and be the best supporters I could ever have. Going into this year's competition, Hannah will keep these words in mind. My philosophy of life is the strongest people aren't always the people who win, but the people who don't give up whenever they lose. And to all the girls and their families competing in this year's pageant, from all of us here at 3 News, we want to wish each of you the best of luck. Have fun, soak it all in, and just be you. Some great advice there. Of course, whether it's...